हेलो वेलकम टू टेक्स जनमेट इन दिस सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द प्रिंटर फाइल सो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट द प्रोसेस लेट मी टेल यू अबाउट द प्रिंटर फाइल व्हाई वी यूज प्रिंटर फाइल एंड व्हाट इज प्रिंटर फाइल सो प्रिंटर फाइल इज जस्ट यू कैन कंसीडर इट एज अ रिपोर्ट सो वेन एवर लाइक इफ यू हैव ऑब्जर्व वेन एवर वी वी हैव वेन एवर वी क्रिएट द ऑब्जेक्ट इट जनरेट वन स्पूल फाइल दिस इज ऑल्सो अ काइंड ऑफ प्रिंटर फाइल सो फॉर दैट आई विल गो एंड टाइप वर्क एस If I do Shift F6, then these are all are the spool file, which is also known as printer file. Okay, so if I take option five here, so you can see that these are the information given. This is spool file, and recently I have created one uh, report. So if I show you, this is my report that I have created using printer file. Okay, so this is the printer file, and whenever there is a need, we can also download this printer file, and we can share with the person. with whom we want to share right so let's see how to design this so to design this firstly you need to add member so just press f6 here you can provide your source member name let's say test prtf then type would be prtf printer file and here you can put description so it i always recommend to keep the description with the with your objects so for now i'm just giving it as test for printer file okay now hit enter once this blank screen open this do file to save and exit all right so now the member is added now we will design this so to design this we will take option 19 here then press enter once this screen will come like you can take option i here then hit enter and here you need to write dr why dr is used to define the record so just write dr then hit enter so you can see record is added now by default it come with the name as rcd001 so let's say we want to change this name so how to do this so to ch change the name you can press shift f6 here you can see that there is one option f10 rename record so just go for this and here you can put your any information that uh, means as, as per your information you can select any record format name so i make it as header 1 and then simply hit enter so you can see that record is added now what we will do we will uh, def declare some fields here so for that we need to write uh, one more command vf view fields and then hit enter so you can see now it is showing the field portion all right so how to add text like we have added this record which is header 1 now we will add some text to this record so to add the text you can simply write code and whatever the text you want to show just keep it here close your code and hit enter so it is added okay likewise if there is any other text you want to add you can add in a single quotes now i will tell you some commands which is which is very useful while designing this printer file so first we will think we, we will see like how we can uh, move this field from this place to another place so for that firstly we need to select this field so to select you can press shift f1 it is now selected now wherever you want to move it just place your cursor there and press shift f3 so it is moved okay if i want to move it again then i will select again with shift f1 just note this command shift f1 for moving shift f1 for selecting shift f3 for moving so if i want to move it here i will press shift f3 fine now we will see another command for copying this so let's say if you want to copy this to somewhere else position so you can select it uh, shift f1 now wherever you want to paste it just place your cursor and press shift f2 so it is copied okay now in same manner if i want to copy it again shift f1 for selection wherever you want to paste it just put shift f2 it is added all right now we will see another command for deleting this so if it is not required you can select you can just place your cursor here and press shift f4 in this case there is no need to select you can simply place your cursor and press shift f4 okay so this is a way through which we can delete the field all right so this is normal text now we will see how to add the fields so to add the field you can press f1 f11 sorry 
F11 once you press F11 it will open this screen define field information here you can select your field name let's say I want to make it as current or username okay now by default values are like uh, plus 7 for starting position length you can select let's say we want to make it as 20 then do page down from here you can select any of the record format as per your requirement so by default I'm going with option 1 then simply hit enter so it, this field is added same thing here also like if you want to move you can select shift up using shift up one then wherever you want to move it just uh, move it okay using shift up three and if you want to copy it then then use shift up two all right now suppose if you want to change the name then how we will do for that you can press shift f4 sorry shift f4 will delete the field as we already discussed right so let me add this field again here i will put name again username and here i will put 20 then page down okay so not shift f4 shift f4 is for deleting we will press only f4 so when you press only F4 it will open this screen work with field but if you press shift F4 it will delete your field so this is very important command just make sure that whenever you want to delete it then only use shift F4 but if you want to change something then you can press F4 only and here if I want to change the name I can directly take option 2 here open it and here I can make changes let's say if I want to add uh, P1S suffix uh, so I will p1 as prefix then i can keep it here and simply hit enter so it is changed likewise if i want to delete it i can take option 4 here okay and if you want to set any keyword to this field you can take option 5 as well so these are the keyword few of them we will see in the upcoming sessions like how to use these keyword but for now we are just going with the default values so this is the way through which we can add fields so to add the field you can press f11 put your details let's say if I want to make date fields or what I will do I will put it as current current date and here for date field length is not required remove it page down and here you can put uh, your uh, data, uh, data type as 6 for date and hit enter so it is added okay similarly if you want to change again the name you can press F4 only and here you can change by taking option 2 if you want to delete you can take option 4 okay fine so this is one header now if you want to add one more header or one more record how you will do this for that you need to write dr so it will sorry uh, before that you need to write i here just go and press i and here you can put dr for defined record record is added you can uh, now view field for view field you can write vf hit enter so let's say if i forgot to change the name previously so what i will do i will press here the key sh um, shift f6 so once i press shift f6 it will open this screen and here you can use these uh, records also key field record uh, record format keywords also and as of now i am just taking f10 to change my record format name and i can make it as data one so whenever i want to write this record i will use this data one name and if i want to write this record i will use header one name and for fields we have individual names so at the time of data publishing we use <coughs> we will use field name and at the time of writing re uh, records we will use these name header one header two okay here also if you want to add any fields you can sim simply press f11 and select your <coughs> select your field name and other details once you are done with this you can simply go and do file for save and exit then simply compile this so it is compile it means your printer file is created once printer file is created then we have to write one logic where we are populating the data to the printer file okay and then for writing the header and all the information that we have added so these things we will discuss in upcoming session also we will discuss like how to add few like we will discuss few few of the keywords that we can use with these fields okay so yeah that's all for this session in the upcoming session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching TechShare Method.